So a new node was just added to geometry nodes and it might be one of the most powerful ones yet. It allows for simulations like this and like this. These are made by Cartesian Caramel, credit there. And what this node is, is it's called Index of Nearest. What it does is you put in some point cloud or you put in some mesh and it's going to tell you for each point what is its nearest neighbor. This was not possible before. The closest we could get is geometry proximity, but it wouldn't tell us for each point inside a cloud which one is the nearest for each one. So uh, I'm going to show you what this allows us to do. So I'm going to make a simple scene like this where we have a bunch of points and these lines are basically showing the connection of which one is the nearest. So uh, stick around and I'll show you how this node works. By the way, uh, this is going to be available in the newest 3.6 build. I'm going to put a link in the description for where you can get that. So. In geometry nodes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with an object, delete it, and we need a bunch of points. So I'm going to make a point cloud uh, that's being animated. So let's say we have 10 points and we want these to be in different positions. So I'm going to set position and for the offset, I'm going to use a random noise texture. So if I use the index as the coordinate system, you can see these points are now a bit scattered. To get them a bit more centered, uh, the usual tricks, I'm going to subtract by 0.5 and I'm going to scale uh, this transformation up. And now, if we make this four-dimensional, uh, we have our moving points. Uh, last thing I'm going to do before we get to the index of nearest node is I'm going to animate this over time and make time go something like 20 times slower. So here we have our point cloud. What we want to do is we want to generate lines in the direction of the nearest neighbor, almost making these molecules it's, it's supposed to look like. Uh, well, to get a bunch of lines, what we can do is we instance, well, you have to spell it correctly, we're going to instance on points. For each point, we're going to give it a curve line. So now these each inherit a line, uh, but it needs to face the correct direction for each one. So here's how we do that. So we're going to use index, of nearest, this is the new node, and what it's going to do is for every position or for every point, it's going to give us the uh, index of the nearest neighbor. Well, why is this useful? We can use this in conjunction, and you're probably always going to use this in conjunction with sample index. Uh, so we're saying, give us the index of the nearest neighbor, and then for that index, give us some piece of information, in this case, the position. So I'm sampling the position of the nearest neighbor. You're probably always going to use these in conjunction. Well, what we can do then is we can calculate the vector by subtracting these two. So we take the point where it's supposed to be facing minus the initial, which is going to give us this vector of the way it's supposed to be facing. And all we need to do now is we need to turn this into a rotation thing because right now it's just a vector. So connect this, connect this, and hit Z. And now, if we join these, each one's going to be pointing at its nearest neighbor. And you can tell because it's kind of intersecting these points. Only issue is these lines are going a bit too long. So in this case, these are the nearest neighbors, but we'd only expect this line segment, not all this extra. Well, uh, all we have to do is we have to scale it by this vector. So I'm going to take the vector, calculate the length, and give that to our scale. Not our rotation, but our scale. And now you can see each one is pointing towards its nearest neighbor uh, with the correct length. So something like this was vaguely possible if you did some delete geometry stuff, but it wouldn't necessarily be the nearest neighbor. So this is an actual calculation of what is the closest point and proximity uh, to each one. But again, uh, you can use this to create crazy, crazy effects um, where points are referencing each other. So there's like collision detection and stuff like this. Uh, but I just wanted to let you guys know that this node exists. Now, wrapping up here, I just want to say that the blend file for this is going to be available on Patreon, so you can actually play around with field of nearest, not field, index of nearest. <laughs> uh, you can download the blend file and play around with that. And uh, as always, I want to say thank you to the patrons, all 600 plus of you. You guys are funding this channel financially both CG Matter and Default Cube. I'm indebted to you, and thank you so much for allowing me to do this Blender education shtick. So, again, Patreon gives you early access to tutorials, blend files, and exclusive tutorials. There's actually an exclusive tutorial I'm planning to film this week. 
Um, other than that, that's the show. Thanks for watching.